Resilience is a crucial attribute for any successful NFL quarterback. In the micro sense, a quarterback can't let a first quarter interception torpedo his entire performance on the day. In the macro, signal callers can't let one bad game or one loss tank his performance the next week. In week 16, with the Detroit Lions jumping out to an early 10-point lead over the Denver Broncos, Drew Locke showed just what sort of metal he's made of. Locke battled back to tie the game going into halftime, but after the Lions regained the lead midway through the third quarter, Locke's wherewithal was put to the test again. The Broncos would go on to retake the lead and put away the Lions, emerging victorious 27-17. With Locke at the helm, the Broncos scored on five consecutive drives starting in the second quarter, including 14 points scored in the final period. Only twice have the Broncos exceeded 24 points in a single game this season, and both times were with Locke. The rookie second rounder finished Week 16, 25 of 33 passing, with 192 yards and a touchdown. It was Locke's first clean game of his career. He walked that razor's edge of protecting the ball while also being fearless in his willingness to challenge the defense vertically. Locke faced some real adversity this week. Not only did he come down with a nasty cold, but so did some of his offensive linemen leading up to the game. Locke was able to overcome the loss of Elijah Wilkinson at right tackle and later left guard Dalton Reisner to say nothing of a backup playing the entire game at right guard. It was shaky early on, but the big boys up front eventually galvanized around their rookie quarterback, and we saw arguably one of the Broncos' best right tackle performances of the season when Jake Rogers replaced Wilkinson at the top of the second quarter. Locke was not sacked on the day, and the Broncos were able to rush for 150 yards, which is a testament to that O-line overcoming their own fair share of adversity. Locke fancies himself a gunslinger, but the best quarterbacks in the NFL are also high-level game managers. Locke distributed the ball to nine different receivers on the day, overcame two separate deficits, and protected the football, all while leading the Broncos to their second-highest scoring output of the season. Locke showed resilience at both the micro and macro level in Week 16's victory. But what does it mean for his future in Denver? The kid is now 3-1 as a starter, with one more game to go. The Broncos' front office at this point has to be giddy at the realization of what they've finally uncovered under center. Locke has proven to be that tide that raises all ships. The Denver Broncos are a team that has found its quarterback and heading into 2020 with north of $70 million in cap space and as many as 12 draft picks, can complete the process of building the nest around Locke. The future has never been brighter for the post-Super Bowl 50 Broncos. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.